Katie, the Pirates took two out of three down in Southern California. Just give us your overall impression of how Whitworth played last weekend. Yeah, we played two five-step matches on Friday, um, starting with Chapman and then ending with Whittier. Um, and I was just grateful to get those two wins against some two really tough opponents. I feel like Whittier and Chapman kind of you know, got better as the match went on. They're kind of new teams. They haven't competed in a couple of years. Um, and so in that way, I think they kind of gained momentum and, and gained confidence. And that, I think in a way, maybe caught us off guard. I think we were um, a little bit maybe mentally unprepared for the battle that they gave us, um, unfortunately. But I, I really was proud and grateful for how resilient we were, especially against um, Whittier and being down two sets and then being able to come back and win in five. Um, I think that just speaks to, um, yeah, kind of our, our toughness and, you know, our ability to compete under pressure. Um, I think that if we learn anything kind of walking away, at least from Friday, was that we need to do a better job of just kind of mentally getting us to a place we're ready to play from point one. Um, and that can mean a lot of things and, and include a lot of different um, factors, but I think that was kind of our conversation. And then Saturday, I think we kind of struggled with the same thing as well. I would say that, you know, fatigue maybe played a little bit into it, certainly after a long day on Friday. Um, but overall, you know, we had some good moments and played well. I just think consistency and um, just once again, kind of our, our mental steadiness and just our ability to play play together, play with confidence, being able to deal with adversity um, and and struggle and, and kind of meet that head on rather than letting it kind of debilitate us, I think is something that we're learning and something that we're trying to get better at. Where does the uh, where does the ability to never be out of a match for a team come from? Because I mean, clearly, yeah. our our group, even though they were down two sets, yeah. never thought that they were out and still yeah. had the confidence to come back. Yeah, that yeah, that's a great observation, and I think that is a really impressive feat. So I would say that that really comes from. I mean, think one. It's it speaks to you know, their, their talent and their, their belief in their talent. So when, so when I say confidence, I think internally they really do have that confidence in, and believe that they can compete with anyone. So I think it's just um, knowing that they're kind of the team to beat, that we're going to receive everyone's best game. I think, so I think it's a matter of just us, how do we manage that pressure? Um, and and that's kind of something that we're still working through. But I would agree that is um, a really good trait to have. I, I would feel the same way as a coach from the sidelines, always feeling like we were in any match, regardless of the situation, or regardless of who our opponent was. Um, yeah, and I just think that speaks to our talent. And, and it really does speak to our mental toughness. Um, so... I, I feel like the problems that we're encountering are, are really just more um, how do we get ourselves ready for a game, right? So we don't have to be in that position. Um, I think there's there's kind of with confidence maybe can come complacency a, a little bit, and that's kind of a hard line to walk, right? How do you manage that confidence and knowing that you're a good team and knowing that you know you're going to win or, or you have that mindset while still bringing that same um, effort and focus and discipline, right? Every single point. So that's what we're working on. <laughs> this week, uh, you get to finally play at home, and you're also opening conference play. Mm -hmm. George Fox and Pacific coming in. Uh, George Fox, maybe the most impressive mm -hmm. team so far mm -hmm. in non conference play. For sure. And Pacific, a team that's been on the rise in the conference the last mm -hmm. couple of seasons. Mm -hmm. Talk about what each of them do well and what they bring to the table this weekend. Yeah, um, yeah, really impressed with George Fox. Um, they have their core group returning. One of their best players is one of their middles, and she is leading our conference and blocking right now. I think Katie might be right behind her, but she's 
a really, really good blocker. And I think overall that is one of their team strengths is blocking. Um, I believe they still have their their libero back as well. Um, and she also leads our conference in digs per set. So from a defensive standpoint, they're going to present quite a challenge. I think they do a great job of blocking and defending. Um, and I think with, you know, their wins this this fall and then last spring, I think they're gaining a lot of confidence. So it's going to be a tough match. I think it's going to be a great battle and it'll be a good test for us to really see where we're at. And then with Pacific, I think um, they're they're also returning a lot of talent. And um, Pacific has always been a team that we've battled with. And, you know, they're here on our home court, but I very much believe they are you know, eager and, and ready to to beat us. And so I think we are just going to have to expect to see their very, very best. And we're going to have to bring our best as well.